So guys, this, these just came um, like five minutes ago. The UPS guy just dropped them and I just popped the uh, box open. As you can see, it's from Reebok, but I don't know why they're send, sending me these uh, women magazines. I guess they're confused. <laughs> but anyway, I'm excited to see these ones. Um, let me just get this big box out of the way and show you what I got. This is the latest pickup, guys. Um, as you can see, Kamikaze 2 Lowe's in the black and white colorway. Uh, these shoes were very highly anticipated by me and I'm sure by a lot of other guys. Uh, I'm glad finally uh, Reebok decided to retro them and the release um, after almost 20 years. It's been 18 years since these shoes uh, have been out. The original one was released uh, back in 96 um, and I believe the price was $80, now it's $100, but you know, that's to be expected. Um, I still haven't seen those, but from what I've seen in the pictures, it's a pretty accurate, accurate retro. Uh, Color-wise and, you know, materials and pretty much everything else, so let's open it and have a look. So. First, we're getting this uh, recycled paper um, Reebok Classic box that we've been getting for a while now. The normal Reebok paper, and of course, the Kamikaze 2 loads. Pull both out. Close the box. And put them right here so you guys can see them. So. Let's see how the materials are on this uh, 2014 pair. As far as I can see, the new book used is pretty much exactly the same as the one used on the mid uh, versions from last year. Uh, the uh, white panel overlay is a synthetic leather, as you know, uh, and no surprise there, of course, it was synthetic leather even back in the um, old days. Um, of course, you know, the cut is a lot shorter. The ton is this mesh ton instead of the uh, regular leather new book and mesh on the mid version. The outsole is predominantly black with the white vector and, you know, those two hints of um, white. Of course, we have hexalite on both heel and forefoot. As some of you might know, the original pair had actually had ultra hexalite on the heel and hexalite on the forefoot. So what ultra hexalite was, um, it basically was a bigger cells, uh, probably double the size of the normal uh, honeycomb cells on the hexalite. And actually, the um, if you look at the hexalite like from this perspective, not you know from the bottom, the distance between the bottom side of the hex slide and the upper side of the hex slide was a little bit bigger since the honeycombs are bigger as well so actually provided a lot um, more and better cushioning than the regular hex slide. so the ultra hex slide was kind of a, an upgraded version of the regular hex slide. Um, heel view perspective exactly the same as the original one if I have to say um, this this version for me is just a perfect execution from um, the original pair. Inside, of course, you have a hex light tag. Um, if I remember next time, I'm, I'm going to show you one of the original uh, hex light tags that I have. Um, the one that actually is saying 1991 when the hex light came out in the market. Uh, this is one is the updated 2011, of course, print. Um, again, the insole is black with white Reebok and Vector logos. And, of course, the insole is, again, Autolite. And I believe here is the tag. Yep, there's the tag for the Autolite technology. I've explained that before in some of my other videos. But Autolite not only provides a great comfort, but also uh, fights against the other... Um, moisture, you know, whatever fungus or some nasty things, you know, living in your shoes 
uh, when you wear them for a long time. So definitely a great addition, especially for the price. Originally, uh, these are now released for $100, but if you do your research, you can actually cop almost immediately, you know, release that was last week for at least 20, 25% off, even from uh, Reebok site. Uh, definitely, you know, I was able to get 25% off. So for me, shipped with tax and everything, they came out um, under $80. So um, pretty much the, the price, they, they came out back in 96. So for me, this is uh, a definitely a, a score. Um, and I have to say the crossbow shift on this, on this pair is pretty good. I see how the, the zigzag overlays are matching the ones on the outsole. Uh, same on this uh, pair as well. This is a great plus. Um, sometimes you're gonna see some of these um, zigzag you know overlays a little bit off from the outsole which is kind of bothered me a lot but you know that's just me I'm, I'm this kind of OCD uh, but definitely padding is sufficient on the hill I have to say uh, ton is very padded I mean just like I remember from back in the old days it's very thick um, you know for for you guys that are fans of the Kamikaze 2's I personally have been a huge fan since uh, back in the old days. Of course, my personal favorite is the Kamikaze One, but the two is also in you know probably my top ten favorites. Uh, this is a great um, summer shoe, uh, something you can you know rock with pretty much anything over the summertime. It's you know low cut version, so uh, it's definitely going to work out a little bit better. And not that you cannot wear it over the winter time, of course you can, but you know lower versions are usually presumably uh, you know, summer shoe. So what else I can say? I mean great pickup for me. I really like it. Um, further down the line if uh, you know those hits sales and which you know I'm almost sure there will be um, and they go under $60 I'm probably gonna grab another one just for my collection and you know want to wear want to wear and you know want to stock you know, rock and stock and all that stuff uh, you guys are familiar with so I'm usually you know trying to to work that formula out but you know, just whenever I can you know if it, if the shoe goes on sale sure absolutely why not but yeah definitely um, you know I I think uh, this has been another great retro from, from Reebok um, and the materials are on point. Uh, actually this, this new book is kind of a little bit softer than the one I have on the mid version and I don't know if the camera picks it up but actually if you run your finger across it it changes the color a little bit. Uh, you know clear indication that the hair is a little bit longer on the new book and um, definitely it's a plus. So that's pretty much it guys, uh, thank you for your support, uh, thank you for everything, uh, for all the subscribers, I'm actually over 100 subscribers now so I'm gonna um, do a quick uh, draw for the lucky person that's gonna receive a free pair of kicks from me uh, this week, I'm gonna post a video for you guys to see who's, who's the lucky guy and until next time stay tuned to uh, collectivekicks.com for more sneaker news, sneaker reviews and sneaker history articles and you have a wonderful day.